I tell you, man, that, that looks awesome. That looks like the stuff to be holding right there. Well, here is the new creek right under this bridge. This creek has a really, really cool name, but I won't tell you the name. But I'm very interested in this creek. I don't know anything about this creek. I Googled it and I couldn't find any information regarding mining, except the name of this creek is unbelievable. It's one of those names you're like, damn, they, they must have been doing something on this damn old creek. Yeah, now what's that right there? Is that quartz? It sure looks like it. That'd be a damn good sign, wouldn't it? Look at that. Oh man, that's a good sign right off the bat. That's a damn good sign. Anytime you're in a new area and you're not sure if there'd be gold or not, look for quartz, man. I'm just looking for color to know if there's actually gold here. The smallest of color. And then I can explore further. Now, mind you, this is a pretty shallow creek. And we're at high water in the wintertime here, so I'm guessing this is one of them dry creeks during the summer. If this is such a little amount right now. Man, I could shape that up and make something real nice. That's like a jasper agate. This might just turn into a rock hunting trip too, I don't know. Hell, I'm down to do some rock hunting myself too. So. Yeah, well, we're gonna do some gold mining first and I might grab a few rocks along the way. Somebody definitely digging right there. I'm seeing signs of digging. I've already seen like two, three, four spots, so I highly suspect there's gold now between the digging that I'm seeing going on and the quartz. And it's crazy that I never knew about this creek before. Quartz everywhere. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Loaded with quartz. Look at this dirty old piece of... That might be something to crush up right there. That's all I brought for testing purposes. Got the big shovel, the pump, classifier, jumbo pan, and a little bar. I got sluice boxes and other stuff in the car if needed. I don't see bedrock, so the bedrock might be deeper here. This here is a good little panning spot, like it was meant to be. Nice flat rock close to the water. Now we just need to find that gold. Oh, that's a big pan. This is a 17 inch pan. <laughs> I don't normally use it, but I thought it'd be good for testing with that classifier. It's a bit much. Come on, baby, just give me a little bit of color. A little bit of color. That looks like pyrite right there. Oh, yeah, a lot of fine gold in there. Holy cow. Boy, that's super fine. Super fine, huh? God, that might just be leftovers from my beach gold. You know that? <laughs> I think that just might be leftovers that got stuck in this pan, to tell you the truth. Well, as much as I wanted that to be gold from this crick, I'm pretty sure it wasn't. I use that pan a lot for beach gold stuff and now I'm confused because I don't know if a speck or two of that actually came from there. So I'm going to rinse that all out, make sure it's absolutely clean, and try again. Okay, so we tried right there behind this big boulder. Looked like good dirt, but I didn't get a flake out of there. Next spot is behind this boulder and you can see Heavies are settling right here. There's Jasper and everything else, larger rocks.
Hole number two, here we go. Come on, baby. Show us the flakes. Show me one flake. Just one flake is all I really want to see right now. Come on. You going to show me some gold or what? Ah, man. Right there. I don't even know if that came from there. I mean, I'd like to believe so, but... <laughs> I have a gut feeling there's gold here, but I also have a gut feeling that I'm not going deep enough. I'm thinking the bedrock must be pretty deep because I haven't seen any yet. How deep? Who knows? Some creeks, you got to go over four feet to hit bedrock. I mean, I have the pump, which I'd love to use, but unless I see bedrock, I can't see a reason for it. That's one of the best places to test on a new waterway of any kind. Is you're looking for grass growing out of bedrock you break that open shake those roots out that'll generally tell you if you have color or not I know a lot of good waterways creeks rivers that you would never find gold even if you searched and searched and searched if you didn't know the right spot you just wouldn't find gold so that's the thing is a creek like this you might have to test for days maybe even weeks before you find the right spot one creek very similar to this as a matter of fact if you look at some of my old videos i only really found gold if i could find the deep clay pockets but once i found those clay pockets they were loaded with pickers and i mean loaded pickers and garnets gemstones so maybe this creek is like that and you can see how it turns from gray to brown that almost looks like really hard clay to me that's exactly what that is. So, from experience, I know gold will sit on top of clay. So this could be a good spot to test right here. All right, so this is hole number three. Not really a hole, it's kind of the side of the bank. Right there, into the clay, a little bit above it. The material is a lot more compact. The only thing I don't like about it is it's higher up than I would like, which, who knows. But given the name of this creek and the quartz and seeing other spots being dug out, what I believe to be dug out, there's there's got to be some gold on this creek. <laughs> it might take me a while to find it, but I will find it. Might not be today, might not be tomorrow, but I am going to find that gold one way or another, come hell or high water. I might have to just dig in the creek itself, find a real deep hole and go for it. This spot I got here in probably less than 20 minutes, really. All right, come on, show me the flakes. Show me the gold, baby. All right, I got great news. I found color in that pan, just the tiniest micro. Too small to even show you, but it was gold, it was there. So now we know for a fact there is gold on this creek. I'm going to need to find a solid tangible flake for me to continue and to be interested in this creek. I don't know if my patience will wear thin by the end of the day or weeks, but be in a new area, I'm going to give it a fair try. So, we'll see. Definitely test today, and if I don't find anything good, or even just a flake, I might try again, I might not. Well, while I was headed towards the next spot, I found this nice jasper. Jasper agate. It's got some red and some other colors going on there. Wow, look at this one. Look at that aqua color. This definitely looks like some type of jasper. It's got that pink and uh, turquoise green going on to it. Beautiful piece, man. And I'm having a debate 
about staying here or going to my good spot to find some gold. If I went to my main spot, I'm sure I could get some flakes. I think I'm just going to stick it out here, though. As much as I'd love to go up there and get some gold, I already know about that spot. And I haven't given this spot a fair chance yet, in my opinion. So I'll stick with the original plan and just keep on testing here. Well, I just came back up here to the car to grab my water. And I was looking at the bank and I couldn't believe my eyes. Look at all them cobbles in there, man. This is an old ancient bank right here. Wow, we are way above the river line. I mean, probably a good 40 feet anyways. That's interesting. I'm gonna have to grab some of that to take home. And for test number five, I got pretty deep down in there. This is that same boulder I've been panning on. And look at that clay. That's all clay, so I'm going to try to break it up a little bit. Because uh, that'd be a good low pressure area. Sitting on clay or sticking in clay. That should be a good spot. Moving on to test number six or seven. Lost track. But I really want to start getting into some of this root situation. Now you can call this river grass, whatever you want to call it. There's some different type of grass growing behind clay or bedrock over there. And if I don't find a small flake, then I don't know. Because these roots, especially these behind this big boulder, should be holding something. Nothing. I'm looking at this little pile right here and all in through here. It's all sitting on that clay. You know, and this is another low pressure area behind these logs that are shooting into the bank. My biggest problem is I have not been finding very much black sand on this creek. We'll try in here and hope for the best. set my pans and my shovel over here and it does open up hey bear always make a lot of noise when I'm in a new spot no I ain't packing either I probably should be I'd be actually probably more concerned about mountain lions because if you're too quiet they'll just sneak right up on you and I've watched enough videos to know that uh, sometimes they don't give a shit what you're doing. <laughs> wow, look at this. Now it really opens up right here, huh? Hell, this looks like a good camping spot. Again, there's quartz everywhere. Look at that in the middle of the river. That is so cool. Get that down tree with the ferns growing out of it. All right, now I just gotta find a way down. And no, I ain't crossing that. Looks like my best bet is over there. All right, let's try to get down this thing without falling. 
Okay, this has got a slide down here. Oh yeah. Okay. Ah, there we go. That wasn't too bad. I'm liking the looks of that a lot. That that is the territory right there. I mean, if there's nothing in there, then I don't even know about pursuing this creek. Yeah, you see the color changes? See that rusty looking area right there? That's highly oxidized, highly mineralized. That's a damn good sign, that layer right there. See, uh, for all you beginner guys, with enough experience, you'll be able to find stuff like this too. But when you don't know what you're looking for, it's hard. This spot is completely different. I'm really glad I came up here, gold or no gold. Just look at this layer. Look at the color changes. It goes from that dark gray to the orange mineralized and then to your earthy browns and cobbles. So we got a mixed pan there. <laughs> I tell you, man, that, that looks awesome. That looks like the stuff to be holding right there. Got her pan down and we're hoping to see that gold. Lord knows we've been working for it. Come on, baby. You can be there, I promise. You can be there. You gotta be there somewhere. Oh, look at that. Look at that. It's there. I mean, it's a small one, but it's there. It's definitely small, I mean. That's it. <laughs> it's it's a micro like, but that's only the second piece I've seen today. Well, that wasn't the best pan, but compared to my other pans, that's a good pan because I didn't get skunked. So I'll keep trying different layers in there and you know move four to six feet each side and maybe we'll hit the sweet spot. I feel like I'm getting closer. Well guys, it's starting to get late in the day and I gotta get out of here. All in total, I found, I think three pretty small micro flower bulbs. And I had some damn good spots. Everything in this here knowledge base. So that tells me there is gold in this creek, but I don't think it's a lot or hasn't made it down here for some reason. So will I be back? Maybe. Maybe, but uh, probably won't be for a while. A little disappointed, but I did prove there is gold here. I want to thank you all for watching, liking, commenting, and sharing. And if you haven't subscribed yet, it's absolutely free and really helps a small channel like mine. So thanks again, everybody. Till next time. Well, beans, I didn't find any gold or next to nothing. I will go ahead and reveal the name of this creek. This creek is named Long Tom Creek, if you can believe that. So with a name like Long Tom Creek, of course you're gonna think there's gold there. This here is our jungle. This here is Oregon. This right here is Pacific Northwest. The ferns, the moss, everything about it screams wild, beautiful, scenic. This is God's country. And just before I leave, I'm going to fill up these two buckets.
classified of this old channel material. It could be good, it's worth a try.